so hello guys hope you guys all are fine and doing great and this is coding depths and now i'm presenting you a tutorial video regarding like how we can use open zeppelin and its erc20 token contract and how we can create our own erc20 token contract and what is open zeppelin open zeppelin is basically the world biggest smart contract library where they have uh, pre-built smart contracts for um, for like for erc20 protocol for erc721 standard and uh, 1155 and much more features they have in this library so it is the world biggest smart contract li library and this is open zeppelin the main website and like how we can so first of all let me show you the official github repository of the open zeppelin and let's see the contracts that they have and like first of all we are going to the contracts folder and then like in the token folder that we are going to learn that in this uh, video like how we can uh, inherit their erc20 token contract into our project and how we can create our own erc20 token so like i'm in the token folder and in the token folder as i mentioned like they have they have smart contract for different standards so like double one double five for erc20 for erc721 for triple seven so in this video we are going to see like the erc20 so like here this is the smart contract erc20.sol this is the smart contract for the erc20 token and this is what we are going to use it so like how we can use their erc20 token into our project so let's start it so now i'm going back to the my desktop and now i'm going to create one folder with the name erc20 token okay okay no i think let's rename it okay erc20 erc20 token okay so now i'm going to open this in my code editor this folder so now like i'm going to open this folder in my code editor okay so now i open it so now let me open the terminal we are going to end this lecture this video is basically not for the beginners i i hope that you guys know about solidity and and and, uh, and about truffle and about open zeppelin a little bit so this is not uh, um, a tutorial video for beginners so i hope you guys know about solidity so now i'm going to start with npm in it okay yeah press enter 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 and yeah and now i'm going to run one more command truffle which is for truffle like we, we have we have to start our truffle framework and what is truffle i hope you guys know so truffle unbox so once I, uh, so now i have to press y so i think i yeah so now it's downloading so like yeah so now we got the two uh, folders so like in the migration folder and in the contracts folder so like in the contracts folder what we have we have metacoin.sol we don't need this contract and we also don't need this contract that is the convert lib yeah so we have the migrations contract and yeah and we have the uh, deployment configuration so we will see what what are these uh low so so like okay so now the most important step is like how we can uh, you know how we can import the open zeppelin library so let's go back to the desktop so now i'm in the in their official open zeppelin contracts so like i'm going back to the open zeppelin contracts because we have to import one command and where is this command uh yeah so here is this command so okay so we have to copy this command and let's go back to the code editor and now we have to paste it and yeah so now you can see like i got the node modules folder and in the node modules folder we have the open zeppelin folder so in the open zeppelin folder we have the contracts folder and in the contracts folder we have the token we will go to the erc20 folder so that is what we i have shown you guys just few minutes ago on the github official repository repository so that that was the contract that i have shown you on the github repository so now it's in our project yes we have imported the library and now how we can use this erc20 token contract and can create our own token so to create our own token to to create our own smart contracts what we are going to do we have to create a new smart contract file in the contracts folder so now i'm going to create a file with the name token.sol token.sol and sol is the extension for the solidity file so like now i'm going to write my first uh, command first line of code for for my smart contract so always in the so if you know about solidity you have to write 
the you have to you know describe the uh, uh, compiler version so uh, like how you guys can describe the compiler version with the command pragma solidity and then the solidity version so i'm going to use 0.8.0 Zero. So okay, this is the pragma version that I'm going to use and like now I have to Mention the contract name. So what should be the contract name? I think my token is fine So my token will be the name of the my contract. So this is it. This is my contract, but 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 I haven't import the uh, ERC20 token contract. So like now I'm going to import this contract into my new contract and now how I'm going to you know import it we have to write one uh, line of code which is going to explain like where this contract is located. So where so like where is this contract is located this contract is located in the node modules and then here is the complete path and right now we are in the contracts folder. So like first of all we have to write one command import and in the double quotes in the double quotes we have to write first of all we will have to go back to the main folder so like and now so double uh, dot double double dot means like we are now on the root folder on the main folder so now i have to go to the node modules okay node modules and then we have to go to the open zeppelin okay open zeppelin at open z e double p E L E N. Okay, open Zeppelin, and then we have to go to the contracts folder. Yeah, and then we have to go to the token folder. I think yeah, and then there is one more folder, ERC twenty folder, and then the ERC twenty dot S O L. ERC twenty dot S O L. So yes, so yes, this is the you know the path of this smart contract. So where this smart contract is located so we have to mention the complete path so now i have mentioned the complete path and now we can use this contract and can create our own token so first of all like uh, let's just open the truffle truffle develop or you can say the truffle environment where you can you you guys can have your own test account these are the all the test accounts and their private keys so now i'm going to compile my contract okay i have two contract migrations and the token dot as well so now now i'm going to compile it okay so now i got error so let me see what are the errors that i am getting so travel is currently using soul c okay so like uh in my smart contract i have mentioned the compiler version to 0 0.8.0 but right now my truffle is using 0 0.5.16 so how i am going to correct this error so we have to go to the truffle config file and then i have to write uh, one line of code more so i have to describe the right compiler version that i'm right now i'm using in my smart contract so i'm using 0 0.8.0 okay 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 so yes i have mentioned the right uh, compiler version in my truffle config file let's go back to the yeah so now i'm going to compile it again so now let's see ah okay so again i'm getting the same error because i have you know i have described the uh, compiler version in my token dot as well but uh, let's see we have one more contract in the migration contract still it's using the other version so i have to you know delete this and yeah and now let's see now we, i'm going to compile the um, compile my smart contracts again so now let's see okay 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 so this is the warning error spdx this is not an issue and the other is like the visibility error or the constructor is ignored so this is the error that i want you to show you that i want to show you guys and yeah and what is this error this is the visibility error so let me show you so where is our erc20 token contract so this is the you know uh this is the erc20 token contract okay but uh i just skip one more thing so like okay and in the erc20 token contract we have the constructor as well so in the constructor this constructor is asking two arguments two parameters you can say so first of all uh, the like uh, the coin name so like just just like btc btc has a name Bit, bitcoin and then the symbol is like btc so we have to also uh, mention the coin name and also mention the uh, token symbol you can say so okay not coin coin is different token is different so this is different so coin has uh, own coin has its own blockchain while token depends on other blockchain so first of all uh, i have to write the contract name 
because if i'm going to inherit erc20 token contract then uh, i have to use this like uh, the contract name so where is the contract name of erc20 here so the erc20 is the contract name of erc20 file okay this is the contract and the contract name is erc20 and now i am going to use its constructor and its constructor basically is, is asking two par parameters the first is the uh, coin token name so okay so how you can you guys can you know describe the constructor constructor and then after the constructor this is a constructor basically for this token to define the constructor of of the external uh, smart contract you, you you guys have to you know uh, uh, explain this constructor here and then don't need to do anything and then the erc20 then like what is the contract name erc20 and then in the uh, in the uh, round brackets and in the double quotes so the two arguments we have to you know define it so like what should be the name of my uh, token it's like my token okay my token and then after a comma in the double quotes what should be the symbol of my token so it should be mtk and yeah that's it okay 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 because that was the error that we are getting and now let's see let's see let's see we are going to compile the contracts again so yeah uh, i think yes our contracts we are we, this is just uh, a warning error about the license identified this is not an issue and now we have successfully compiled compiled both of our contracts the token contract and also the migration contract so like whenever you guys you know successfully compile the smart contracts you guys will get the build folder and in the build folder you can see like the, this is the abi of our contract of of our erc20 token contract so this is it so that is how you guys can you know use the uh, open zeppelin library and they can then you guys can import and uh, their uh, the library into our project and then use their erc20 token contracts or whatever contract that you want to use and now we have successfully compiled our token yes we haven't deployed to the to deploy to any blockchain you guys can you know deploy this uh smart contract on any evm compatible blockchains so yeah this is it this is it from this video and i'm going to post more videos regarding blockchain and regarding blockchain and uh, truffle and about open zeppelin so yeah this is it so see you in the next video bye bye from coding Debs.